Hi there and welcome to Bustanet. Yes, these are the Stanley Bridge Diaries, FM 2019, second episode. And we are not doing that badly. We're top of the table. I've been using a 4231. I've been toying with using a 4312, but every time I go into my 4312, I go two goals down. And I've had to turn to a 4231 because there's I mean, we spent a fair bit of time in preseason trying to understand my team and we came out and we've discovered, yeah, they can play a 4-2-3-1, so why don't I play a 4-2-3-1? My head keeps telling me, I don't think that's good enough for us. And we've had some very funny results, right? So here we go, 7-3, Stanley Bridge Celtic versus Darlington. We could just, we're just going to watch some of these goals, right? So this, is, this was set-piece heaven. And uh, I scored four goals from set pieces, all within the first half. Uh, so the first one wasn't really a set piece, but we had this was a great goal, Eddie Yinka. I think that was the only non set piece goal that we had. Or we had two, right? Free kick, set piece, then Damon corner, set piece, <laughs> and then we had Michael Clark corner, set piece, and then we had Jake Charles free kick, picks up from there. Then we. Eddie Yinka, free kick, and but this this turned back into open play. So we can't really say this was a set piece because uh, we managed to win the ball back. And then Bill play up and go down the throat and score. Okay, and then the last one was, I think, yeah, set piece. So in fact, was it what? Fuck. Five, five set piece goals, right? So it was this inflated my set pieces for the season because I was only doing like one every two games, and suddenly this one game and I get five. And we three two behind, we came to win this match and this Leamington Spa game again, three one down. And I realized what's wrong with my system, and I have to go narrow again, um, and try and keep possession of the ball and move it through the pitch. So far, I've been using a uh, I've been using a 4-2-3-1. But this role is giving me a lot of concern. So I'm going to change it now to something else. I'm going to go box to box midfield on support. Because he has been going everywhere. And I don't get that cohesion in midfield that I was hoping to get. And it's been a problem. Now, these two guys, I've turned them on. I'm going to now play him as an inside forward on support. And keep this guy on support as well. I, I'm going to have to try and be a bit more conservative. I've got to try and fix this problem I have. Because tactically, we're fine. I mean, I've got the right players in the right positions. Um, we're not... I mean, some people might say I'm, I'm taking advantage of the match engine. There's nothing to take advantage of. The... the, the the match engine just doesn't react uh, to changes that you make in a game uh, quickly enough. I mean, if it was a human, it'd be a different story. So we got Jack Damon now. Uh, even though I have him a jumping reach of 16, he does okay some of the time, not all the time. So we're going to have Dan Brady on the bench. I got Damon, Clark, Sheridan, and Tang. This is going to be a very interesting match. Uh, I am going to actually play him on support and use him on attack so why am i doing this because here i probably have uh, here i probably have enough roles to help me keep the ball right, the only problem with brown as a box to box player is he's off the ball uh positioning is nine tackling is ten passing is seven uh decisions is seven so it's not phenomenal Ideally, we want somebody who's better. You can Glenn Rule, I would play him, but he's not 100%. Uh, Chris Sharp, I'm listing him. So we'll try this out against uh, Bly Spartans. And this is going to be their favorites of, for this match. Uh, they're 12th on the table, but they should be the favorites for this game. Uh, we, on the other hand, are not. The favorites right we just newly promoted the the thing here in this game i always notice is um if you if you start the game i i don't want to be defensive right so a lot of these games where i ended up conceding first are matches where i went defensive first so i'm not going to go defensive so we're going to 
change the way we are set up. Oh, what about my corner routine? I'm sure you guys are wondering, how the hell does he score so much? Look, it's the same every FM. I never change my routine. My routine has been the same, except for the fact that now I can add one more here. Far post, near post. Put your best jumper there, set it to mix, and you're done. That's it. Game over. Now they've just given us uh, free kicks as well. And the same principles for in wide, and, um, uh, wide and deep. Far post, near post, leave it and go. That's it. <laughs> there's, it's, there's no rocket science. I've got my best jumpers there. So why don't I play? I mean, you could deliver it to the near post, far post. But honestly, <laughs> my players are just... Free corner kick ratings are like 9. So half the time is just luck. So team talk, come on, show me what you can do. Uh, we set the opposition instructions already. I am definitely playing a slightly different game. Um... We are not going to play too short passing. Shorter passing is enough. Uh, pass into space, not too early. I don't want to take a chance with this. I'm going to counter press. Yes, we are definitely... This is definitely not in the, the, the game. Okay, I, I really recommend people don't do this. But I'm doing it, so... Uh, okay, what is the risk of doing this? Over the top balls... Uh, if they are fast players, I'm in trouble. I can do this, but this is too much of an area for us to cover. Um, I'll try this first. Again, I'm now asking for trouble. <laughs> okay, attacking. So this goes up higher. Stay on feet, get stuck in. No, we're not going to tackle. We have the best... We have the... Um, in the league right now, we're numero uno in the tackling department. The best team on the land. Okay, so Damon now. So this is going to be me observing. If I can win the transitions with the balls, I am definitely there. I want to win the second ball as well. So, so far we've been lucky. Uh, started the season um, doing okay. Uh, not too bad. Free kick to us. So if they give us space, I can attack them behind the spaces. So attacking, we're going to go on a higher mentality. Five minutes in now. Okay, free kick McLaughlin into the box. Wakeman makes the save. Two yellow cards already and I'm not even playing a game where I want to tackle hard. Oh god, this is not a good day for me. Uh... Throw, Sheridan, Marsden, Marsden over the top, Barco goes chasing after it, Mafio, oh, under some pressure, Rafferty clears the ball, Clark wins that, McLaren looks again for the run of Kingney, okay, so far so good, ah, uh, this is what I was worried about, okay, they managed to handle the offside trap, okay, so this, long, long passes down the throat, because my, my distance is quite far, between my forward line and my back line, I can't push my back line further up. I'll open myself up. So I'm going to have to accept these long passes that I've got to make. Clark. Looks of Barco. Green under some pressure. A Robson. Down it goes on Maguire. Maguire has a chance to cross, but we have to defend the corner now. Okay. Um, it's a free kick. Okay, we're going to make one change. Great higher defensive line. I'm gonna get right in their face. I'm gonna take a chance. I'm gonna step up. And that is gonna be my it might be my downfall because I've not been playing like this the whole season. I've been playing a rather conservative game of uh attrition. This is different. This is me going trying to uh win the ball in midfield. It's not advisable. Okay. Tang to McLean. Tang. McLean to Marsden to Brown. Brown shoots from range. Yeah, the passing options are not there now. Oh, uh, Rafferty. Long ball. Uh, Sheridan does well. Um, Matthew. Maguire loses. The def okay. It's, we have to defend another called Damon. Is gonna. I don't know how long Damon, Jack Damon is going to last. Mafio. They clear the header. Maguire looks for the shot. Can't. Lang. Brown to Kengini. To Bako. Bako just push. Boots the ball up. 
So far, there are no passing options. This is what's happening. Sheridan, Baco again. Brown to Kengini. Kengini lost. And Maguire is true. And yeah, he was on the cards all the way. We knew this was going to happen. Damn it. Mistakes. Making a lot of mistakes in this game. Presses at the Yenka to Marsden to Brown. Ah. Both the fullbacks on a yellow card. McLaughlin. Well, he's not working out for us. One of those days, I guess, when things aren't working like you hope. Mafia with the corner, and Damon clears that. Kengini, why are you not running, you tot? Kengini, I mean, you're on this flank, you might as well just run. Oh, man. Kengini to Robson Tang Eddie Yinka now. What a ball for Kengini. He's in and it's an equalizer. It's a counter attack. Ha <laughs> ha. This is the only way we can play. I mean, this is the only way I'm trying to score goals now. I mean, like, I can't expect to beat this team with skill on the ball. So it's just. One over the top, and I'm hoping that we can just outrun their defenders. Because they're attacking me with this guy. See, Toure? He's, he's the space at the moment. Brown, out, he goes to Kengini. And I've got to get this guy to support the attacks. Liam Tang. Oh, that's, now we've got... This is the number of cards we're picking up is scary. Five cards now. Holy crap. And we're not even playing on hard tackling. Oh, they, they really want to win this game then. Okay, uh, Marsden is having a 6.5. Tom Brown is 6.4. Okay, McLean. Brown. McLean. Looks. Oh, Kengini. Can he get it? Oh, he buys the corner. You sweet thing, you. And it's not a very good corner. But ends the first half aggressive I'm not happy a performance they all looking stressed I don't care okay Lang Clark they win the ball back Barco looks for Kengini Kengini is having the match of his life Tang to Marsden Marsden holds the ball McLean looks for options but we have a throw Tang to Marsden on to Brown Brown Sheridan, Sheridan crosses the ball. It's Tang again. Tang to Marsden. It's not our day. They're going to score. Oh, what a light. Oh, my goodness. Mafio. Victor Mafio. I think he's related to Pablo Mafio, the one. He's uh, the player I used to use, have in my squad. Yeah, this is so wrong. Bly Spartans and Stanley Bridge. We're playing a very attacking game at the moment. Damon, there was no counter. Tang to Marsden to Brown. Brown shoots from there. Okay, it's all right. Five yellow cards. Any one of my players can be sent off right now. I've actually finished the match. I actually got a point from one of my games. I had nine players left on the pitch. <laughs> Two players were sent off. Okay, I'm not willing to change the way we play. Baco goes back. Brown, Marsden. It's a free kick. Green, yellow card. Yeah, finally, they get a yellow card. No, it's just one. What the hell is wrong with the ref? It's all oh, cleared off the line. 
tang king ni they putting them under pressure they can't clear the ball sheridan bako sheridan again mclean sheridan playing narrow the way i want them to play to keep the ball yeah another corner 54 minutes on the clock kengni suddenly i feel the the passion again but jack damon 6.3 he is struggling he's like looking at the bench praying that i take him off i don't want to see his fitness 63 percent but look at the rest of this team hey, damon you got to keep on going man you're the captain of the team lead by example 60 minutes So this is I've actually gone to key highlights because I can't handle comprehensive anymore. There's too much happening in this game. This is a battle of attrition. Connor Oliver, Paddy McLaughlin is coming off. Okay, Jack Damon is still there. What can we do? Tom Brown. I'm pausing for a moment. Because uh can I make a substitution to change the game? Eddie Yinka is very fast. I should keep him on the pitch. Michael Clark and Jack Damon are the best defenders I've had. Jake Charles for John Marsden will be a gamble. Danny Brady might have to come on if Jack Damon can't finish the game. So I can't take this guy. I can't take this. I can't bring this guy there. I've only got Stephen Rigby, the fullback. And Sheridan is at 6.8. No, I've got to let them finish the game. All right? We can only ask them for... Demand more. Come on. Just a bit more, boys. Just a bit more. I don't even know whether the shot is going to work. We got about... So, 10 minutes left in the game. They changed. I don't even... Um, They changed the FC. Mafio and Toure. We'll wait until the... F they've gone into a defensive shell. Bly Spartans have gone into a defensive shell. 4 4 1 1. They want to hit me over the top. Oh, this is. Okay, we'll just keep playing attacking mentality. Sheridan, Brown. It's McLean. Back to Brown. McLean to Kengini. Oh, Wrightson. Oh, it's a free kick. Jack Damon is at 54%. John Marsden. We're going to take John Marsden off. And bring on Jake Charles. Can this boy. Okay. Um, team instructions. Be more expressive. I'm using that. Last throw of the dice. Oh no. They have a freak. Whew. Look at the wall. The number of players who are back defending. Okay, 88 minutes. Yeah, man. This is going to be one hell of a way to keep our run going. Wow. Oh. Okay, long. It's... Uh, def they defend. Okay. All right. We're going to... Nine, two minutes left. Make a substitution. Jack Damon, you come off. Danny Brady, you go on. You're going to take the captain off for a while. Priestley. It's uh, Rivers. Oh, that was... Tang plays it back to Wakeman. Wakeman out to Clark. Clark out to Francis at the Yinka. Sherry... Oh, no. It's Bako. Ew. We had it at the end. We almost... It's a corner. Gangney. Unbelievable. We have the corner. It's safely into the hands of the keeper. All right, that's it. Uh, no more pass into space. Out of possession. Ah, oh, fish. We'll just keep doing it. I don't care. It's taken us this far. Rafferty with a long kick up. Tang. Down the throat. Priestley. Eddie Yinka with the ball. He has to shoot from there because the other two players are offside. Okay. Rafferty. Long kick up. And it's enough. Croft Park sees a point. Is they are disappointed. I'm not okay. We are, I'm not happy, but seriously, I'm actually happy with the point because we actually came back, and I I, I honestly thought that I was going to lose this match. Wow, this is a. Uh... 
We're not doing too badly. So our shot on target ratio this season hasn't the goals from corners. Celebrish leading the way with nine goals from corners. So that's like that's a lot of goals that we scored. But we didn't score again this time. Pass completion ratio, we got the best in the land, 69%. I'm very happy. And 4,224 passes works out to be about, I think, about 500 passes a game. Four to 500 passes a game, which is kind of good now. Shots on target ratio. That number is, we, we're getting bad. Our passes aren't that bad. No, pass completion ratio is 69%. And uh, chances created... But one thing about us, our shots on target, range, con our conversion rate isn't so good. Now it's 19%, it's dropping. We we had a high of 20% at the start of the season. Now this is becoming a bit more realistic. Um, shots on target, stockport, B for 80. That's not too bad. Those are defending. Uh, considered from corners, we, uh, we've considered three goals from corners. And uh, I think in terms of fouls, Mate, we lead the land. <laughs> Look at that. We are the top. We got a tackling percent completion percentage of 93%. We're no longer the number one team. We used to be number one. We used to be the uh, highest. Now I think uh, we've dropped down to 21st, 93%. It is one. Oh, got to improve this. But then it's only at the back. Uh, but average possession 55%. So we're doing okay in terms of the schedule. Well, we kind of slowed down our run. Uh, Bly Spartans, one all draw. We're still undefeated. And um, if we keep, if we can avoid losing to those, those clubs, because my, my goal is very simple Stockport, Chester, York, Telford, Bly Spartans, Darlington, Boston, and Alfredton. If I can, the top 10 sides, if I can. Uh, avoid losing to them then i have a chance uh, i have a chance of uh finishing in um in a good position and our rep i like this our reputation is there's now a reputation here that's cool 139 we rose by one place in the reputation rankings that's kind of cool i didn't think that was going to happen very quickly uh wow okay i mean I, this could be the league, I think. Uh, it looks like it's the league. Uh, this is not too bad. Not too bad. Well, the boys have done it. Uh, we continue to be doing all right uh, financially. Uh, in case you guys are wondering, right, my budget, right, I'm only slightly above the wage budget, so it's five five two zero. So the board isn't unhappy. Uh, I'll start seeing a loss towards the end, towards the middle end of the season. Uh, the board have been happy. Uh, yeah, that's true. Jadel Francis at the Yinka is not playing very well. He's just, he's just started and started screwing things. And I'm already, I'm already untouchable. That's good news. Damon has reached his yellow cards limit. The ban will apply for all English domestic competitions. Okay, fine. So our next match is actually going to be against North Ferrybury. That's good. So he should be available for the match against York City. Bly Spartans, we kept them to just these four freaking shots on goal. I mean, this is, to me, a tough match. We actually did quite well in terms of the possession and how we played. And this young player on loan, Jake Sheridan had a blinder. But look at his attributes. It doesn't, doesn't really convince you that he's a fantastic player. But we've done okay. So we still maintain our unbeaten unbeaten start to the season and we still got quite a ways to go and I'm just glad that we uh, we didn't lose Damon to an injury but look at his look at him improving one of the things I'm really enjoying the fact is uh, in terms of training some people might be wondering what am I doing for training right like I haven't really bothered so to be honest with you guys this is my training and I have a squad view for my training that I hardly ever use <laughs> okay, so I got this training view so ta I have tactical familiarity the potential and current ability plus um, plus the uh, attributes now sometimes I put in a divider just to see the rest of these attributes uh, but in terms of how we're doing everybody's on heat most of them are heavy and medium so it's okay so it's just a nice combination uh, to get 
uh, you generally want medium to heavy, right? You don't want like light for your players. So, uh, one of the players that's really impressing me is this guy, Matthew Abbey. His development has been fantastic. So check this out. Have you ever seen this Herald like this before? And the the boy's work rate has just jumped up. I mean, like, um, so his work rate right now has gone up by what a factor of one. <laughs> So, 7.8 in July, August, September, October, he's jumped from 7.8 to 9.2. I've had him on endurance training all the way. So, some of these players like Scott Baco, Back, Big Baco, whatever his name is, he's like quite old. Um, I don't think his attributes are going to go very high. I don't expect. Like, he's doing finishing training. So, he's gonna, he's, they're going to flatline because... They're spending most of their time playing. And um, in terms of the average rating, they seem to be okay. Tactical familiarity, um, they're going to take a while because uh, we had we really didn't have much of a chance to do have put in enough games for them to be tactically familiar. Plus, on top of that, I have like three stupid tactics I, I was thinking of trying, but I've only ever stuck to this 4 2 3 one. I haven't really played any of the other tactics. These other tactics, like, you get it, you know what I mean? Marsden and Barco, I've got an understanding, but... This tactic is scaring the bejesus out of me. I wouldn't have this 5-2-3, which are 5 4, one or whatever you want to call it. I wanted to use it, but I haven't used it. So I've only been, really been using the 4 2 three, one this whole season. We've done okay. And uh, we continue to perform well. I just hope that we can do better in the next couple of matches. It's this role. I think I've nailed it. I've nailed it. It was this ball-winning midfielder. This last game has just shown me that I, this was the correct choice to change that role to a ball-winning midfielder, a uh, box-to-box midfielder, or another role that doesn't really have that large of an area for him to close down. Because I was using a ball-winning midfielder, and a lot of the games he went MIA, <laughs> so we, we go in and concede like lots of goals, and then I have to make tweaks to my tactic. And there was a common theme in all of them, so I've just changed it. So now. This is the tactic. We're going to finish the season with... Uh, we're going to carry on playing with the 4 2 3 I kind of like it. Uh, but, you know, the roles and duties, they change when the need presents itself. But so far, so good. The boys are doing okay. And we're still there or thereabouts. <laughs> they're at the top of the table. And uh, my nervousness continues. Stellybridge Celtic. Top of the table. Seven points clear. Play the game. Extra. Can we get promoted this season? I hope so. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's show. If you have any questions, please look me up on Twitter at Bustanet or addicted to fm.com my website. Once again, I'd like to thank all my patrons for their continued support of this channel. You make this kind of shows possible for the rest of the community. You guys take care. Have a good one. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.